Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, I see a wee little bit of fish here. A wee little bit. A wee little a bit of fish. A wee little which gorgeous I fish. Can't wait for you to tell everyone what you're making. Alison Davis here, everyone. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, so this is something that maybe we're not familiar with here, but it's one of my favorite dishes, and hopefully people are getting on trend with this because it's been around a while. But it's an ahi tuna poke bowl. Oh, well, I don't know what that last part is, but the <laughs> ahi tuna, most people know. Yes. Yeah, and everyone loves a good bit of tuna. Yes. Well, maybe everyone. I don't know. Not I everyone do. loves fish. Well. If you love fish, you love tuna. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. I like it um, all diced up with a nice little vinaigrette, all very fresh well, and yummy. Well, you're going to just love this poke bowl. Oh, really? Let me just tell you. It's kind of um, more of a Hawaiian uh, traditional Ooh, yeah. dish okay. um, where you take the fresh tuna and you have fresh vegetables, a lot of times with rice, but it's like this full dish with bowls, um, like set, almost like how we do a cob salad here. Gotcha. But it's with tuna and these fresh vegetables, and okay. it's called a poke bowl. All right. Okay? So you've got... Cucumber so I have already some done. cucumber noodles, yeah, yep. and so I'm going to use that as the base instead of the uh, rice, okay? Yep. And then we have some daikon radish, which is kind of oh. that Japanese like radish. It's just nice and crisp and white. Can you eat that roll? Mm -hmm, you can. Um, we've got some green onions. Okay. Let's see. Um, for a little That's bit. That's okay. Of, yeah, I it's just a that. crunch. Yeah. It, it gives it a little bit of a crunch. Mm. So we're going to add some avocado into this um, and then uh, a bit of mango for the sweetness. Okay. Um, so what I, what I was doing was going ahead and prepping the mango. I don't care what you do, you are not going to oh. be able to cut through that pit. So you have to cut around the pit of a mango. So once we cut... Take out a bit of anger there, dear. I know. I'm like... It just frustrates me. You know, you buy these big mangoes and then... You know, what you're left with is like a big old pit. I know, but um, <laughs> as a kid, you grab the mango oh, seed yeah. and, and you go eat to it. Town. And almost you can choke on the darn thing <laughs> because you start slicing and then you got mango um, string teeth. And, Why don't you oh, show us how it's No, done? <laughs> not on camera. I, I'll eat on camera. It doesn't face me, but not a mango seed. So once you've cut around the pit, I do it basically like I do an avocado where I'll score it in the. Um, in the peel. Yep. So you go through and just kind of run your knife along that peel. You go back across. Just like a dice. Exactly. Yeah. And then when you're ready to, you can just kind of lay that knife flat and just yeah. run it right across the bottom. I can't do that. I and can't. you've got your diced mango. Yep. See, you can kind of yeah, turn I it Yeah, I know, like but that. that's your gig. Well, and the way you, cut, like you're a professional, not everyone can cut but like that. But if you learn the, chi the tips and the tricks, you can. So that's what okay. we're here for. <laughs> okay. So we've got our mango. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to marinate and kind of season up our tuna. So I'm just going to take the tuna and do some nice little chunks, you know, just Where'd you get the tuna? large dice. I go to Lexington Seafood Market or Whole Foods here in Lexington. This is a seafood market there here? There is. We'll have to go because oh. Mike is a character and he is uh, wonderful. So all okay. I, I, I do this in all of our like classes, especially like our sushi classes, but you really want to know where your fish is coming from yeah, and, and really uh, have a trust. Source. Would he dice it for me? Um, he might, yeah, if you're nice, if you're nice. <laughs> but I, I can tell you the quality of his tuna is like this every single time. It's consistent, it's beautiful, it's okay. red, it's firm. So you really know that you're getting a fresh product. Yeah. All right, so we take our tuna. And you're and, doing big chunks. Oh, yeah, this is nice, like big, big dice. And we're going to marinate this. So this is going to take more on an Asian flavor. Mm. So we're going to go again with that fish sauce. Yeah. Yum, yum, um, yum. We're going to go with red pepper sauce, like uh -huh. chili or sriracha. Nice. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm going to add a bit of rice vinegar. Okay, um, you're so getting it all in there. For acidity. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to bring in one of your favorites, Garlic. ginger. Oh, ginger, I yes. love. So this is ginger paste, and it mm. is found with the fresh herbs, oh, the but best. it's super easy. So if you're just looking for like a quick cheat instead of having to take the knobs and mm -hmm. grate it. But they also have this it's in, fresh. Um, they have ginger, they have parsley, they have um, basil. Mm -hmm. There's all different types of things for this, and I think it is brilliant. Yes. But 
I think there is a shelf life on it. Definitely. There is, yes. isn't there? It's mm -hmm. not like the drug. A couple the weeks, I yeah, think. Yeah, I agree. So a, a little bit of ginger. I did sesame oil. And then your recipe is going to call for either coconut aminos, which are a little difficult to find. But okay. you can also use gluten-free soy sauce. But I use sometimes Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Um, just a splash. And that yeah. gives you the effect of the soy just without the soy. Just as like if you're making a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I like it. And that's about it. So that's okay. just going to kind of get marinated. And if you want... How long want, do you do that for? I mean, really, once it's done, I mean, you're oh, good to go. Because you I, sort of put the juice in there too, oh, don't you? Oh, I know, you? yes. Yeah, I, I was I thinking you would. But if you don't like it raw, you can sear this off just a little bit and still have the ahi tuna in the center. But if yeah. you're getting that good quality, this is sushi grade. You can eat it just like this, like sashimi. Yeah, and the thing is also, I would probably dice it up a bit smaller if mm -hmm. I was eating it. But I like the idea of... Ch -ch -ch on the on the grill. Yeah. Oh, do you like that? Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. And you could even grill it you can head. Ch -ch -ch yeah. Over to our website everyone <laughs> at wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. Um, click on the recipe link. We're gonna plate this up now. Appreciate it. Back after this short break.